Hello, everyone. My name is Shuichi Shima, and I am an associate professor in the Division of Biotechnology, Graduate School of Engineering, Osaka University. I have been conducting research on mass spectrometry imaging since 2004. Mass spectrometry imaging is an approach that began from a completely new perspective, that is, observation using mass spectrometry. Initially, attention was focused on applications for searching for disease biomarkers. At present, in addition to pharmacokinetics analysis and the analysis of drug efficacy and pharmacological mechanisms, MS imaging is becoming more common in a variety of fields including chemical products, food engineering, and forensic medicine. Generally, mass spectrometry is a method used for component analysis. By its very nature, it could not be used to visualize component distributions. In contrast with the optical approach, the structure of observable samples can be observed, but their respective components remain unknown. Mass spectrometry imaging, a technique that combines mass spectrometry with optical observations, makes it possible to visualize what components are distributed where and in what quantities. In this video, I'll introduce the concept of MS imaging using, as an example, the Shimazu IM Scope QT, an imaging mass microscope. Among mass spectrometry imaging instruments, a mass microscope, such as the IM Scope QT, is unique. It can convert a microscope image to show the mass, that is, the distribution of components. This enables the results obtained to be intuitively understood. Let's now take a look at the features of the IM Scope QT together with the sequence of conducting an experiment. Firstly, a section is placed on a glass slide for use as a sample. The glass slide is placed into a special holder and is inserted into the IM Scope QT. With general mass spectrometry imaging, the sample as a whole is observed using a scanner, for example. With the IM Scope QT, however, in addition to overall observations, localized observations can be made using the built-in optical microscope. When observing microscopic structures and localized distributions within the sample, the magnification can be changed while viewing the microscope image. so microscopic regions of interest can easily be found. When a region of interest is found, simply capture a still image, set the region on the image for mass spectrometry imaging, and perform the analysis. In this way, observational images and corresponding MS images can be obtained over a range of scales, from the section as a whole to microscopic regions observed with the microscope. This fusion of observations using an optical microscope with mass spectrometry imaging is by far the most important feature of the IM Scope QT. Next, take a look at this data from a mouse brain, measured while varying the spatial resolution. The top images are at the cellular level, with the smallest spatial resolution of 5 micrometers, and the lower images are of the slice as a whole at a spatial resolution of 15 micrometers. The spatial resolution of the MS images can be adjusted according to the aim of the analysis. In the analysis of the slice as a whole, although more than 700,000 points in total were measured with the IM Scope QT, this was completed in approximately six hours. Additionally, 
The measurement positions are determined based on highly accurate microscope images. So the microscope image and the MS image correspond accurately, and there is no need for position adjustments to align them. The IMScope QT has a user-friendly interface. Even users with little experience in mass spectrometry can easily and intuitively carry out the whole workflow from observation to measurement and data analysis. It's easy to obtain high-resolution MS images, which correspond accurately to the microscope images. This enables faster data analysis and is the second key feature of the IMScope QT. As a result, research can proceed efficiently particularly in screening analyses and multi-specimen analyses. The third feature of the IMScope QT is that it is easy to attach and detach from the LCMS 9030 QTOF mass spectrometer. You can confirm the distribution of substances with MS imaging and analyze them quantitatively with LCMS, all using one system. So these are the three key features of the IMScope QT. Advances in pre-treatment and data analysis techniques allow us to take full advantage of the instrument's capabilities. In terms of pretreatment, the vapor deposition method has been developed. This involves the miniaturization of matrix crystals. Additional developments include enhanced repeatability through automation of the spray method, which previously required user expertise, and techniques for acquiring sharp images through the two-stage vapor deposition, a combination of these two techniques. Even now, progress is continuing in these areas. The combination of these techniques represents a complete MS imaging system, where a large volume of data is complemented by automatic data analysis. This will likely pave the way for the next generation of MS imaging. It will likely clear the way for the next generation of mass spectrometry imaging. Finally, I should say that we are entering an era in which further technological innovation will enable high-sensitivity, high-accuracy measurements. In other words, the number of molecular species that can be detected will increase. And these will be analyzed through non-targeted analysis, which will bring about discoveries so far undreamed of. Further collaboration between researchers in different fields is important in order to accurately interpret the data obtained. Imaging results, which are easy to inspect and discuss, will likely become the most efficient materials for connecting analytical chemists with researchers in other fields. Let's use this mass spectrometry imaging technology which allows us to visualize what we previously could not, to advance together into a new world of science and technology. Excellence in Science, Shimazu.